what is going on guys welcome back to the channel we got a great video for you guys today we have the fit cam 4k oem style dash cam this is a great unit i already know as you can see 4k ultra hd we're going to do the unboxing take you through all the features connect to the app the install and we're going to see how this baby looks in live action so let's get right into it so we have our accessories and the dash cam itself we got wi-fi connection loop recording g sensor super wide angle perfect fit oem style and the high dynamic range here we have our plug and play harness no wiring needed no splicing just plug this baby in and you're rocking and rolling got a little trim tool okay and we have a nice little flash drive there included in it got our user manual you can scan the QR code to watch the video of installation scan the barcode take it right to the app to the App Store or Google Play this is the exact style and fitment as the OEM cover they even included a little micro SD card now this is our actual camera lens and we're going to peel this off later after installation this is the protective film but here as you can see it's just a very simple plug and play we'll use this harness to connect to our existing wire in there and then the opposite end would plug into that and then you would just plug this into there but this is what it looks like nice design it feels very uh, sturdy here we have our two buttons down there one for power and one for it looks like a quick capture take a photo got some nice air vents going on here and this is the same exact style cover as that is right there so once this is installed you won't even be able to tell that it's an actual dash cam which is good because I prefer not to have the wires and the big black box hanging down there it's just an OEM style factory look nice and clean so now I'll show you how to remove this here so the cover has two pieces this part here which you just pull down and it comes right off and then this piece here which you can just pry off and it comes right off so let's get this removed here all you do is kind of just stick your finger right up in here and it comes right off very easy now this part you can use your hand as well you can just kind of kind of take it and shimmy it around and pull it and it's just snapped right off here's our little connector here this is the connector that you would plug in with your plug and pray harness all you do is just like this here there you go to make things easier you could remove this whole the whole mirror and all you do is twist it clockwise just like this Okay, now it's removed and now here's your connector that you would plug your wire harness into so here's our wire harness we'll take our plug and plug it into it there and then the opposite end would go into it here right up here okay So this clip right here, you have to remove this so that the wires can fit up there and the housing can fit snug on here. So all you do is take this and slide it back and remove it like so. The reason why you wanna take that connector off that clip is because this cover here would not be able to fully snap up in place if that wire was here. So that's why you wanna take that connector off that clip and route it around and you can see how it's coming up there and mount it around to the opposite side this way the housing can fit on there snug and everything will fit properly reinstall the mirror on an angle and turn counterclockwise to lock it back in place OK, 
Okay, next part is to put this trim piece back on. Alright guys, just doing a check and make sure we're up there. No wires hanging or anything. Let's check out the opposite side. Here, this side is looking really good. Nice OEM fitment. No wires hanging all over the place. Just a nice clean install. I'm going to start the vehicle and see if it powers up. There we go. Got some red lights if you can see that. So we're going to connect to the app. to the Wi-Fi name you would also see camera but that's the one we want and the password would be one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight join okay looks like we're connected go back to the app add camera Okay, and we're connected. And here we have a live view. That's a live view. Okay, so we can go in our settings. And here's all the features. We got sound recording. Currently I have that on just for demonstration purposes. Speaker volume is all the way up. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off for now. Image resolution. Now I got that on 10 megapixels because the higher the megapixel, the longer it's gonna to take to download your files. We got video resolution. Now I got mine down to 2560, 1440. I had it on 4K. I got some footage of that. I'll roll the 4K footage. But currently it's on 2560 because when it's on that 4K, it takes very long to download your files. Now the image quality is still good on 2560, but it takes less time to download. All right, and you can also, you can choose your options. You can go 19, 20, 1080. Loop recordings, I got done on three minutes, just so it's not a huge file when I'm downloading my video. So if it was on five minutes, it would take longer and it would take up way more space to download that file of five minutes. So I got it in between, I got it on three minutes. Exposure compensation. I got that all the way up to 1.7 because it is rather cloudy out right now and It just makes it a little bit brighter So but you can adjust this to whatever Setting you want all the way up to 2.0 all the way down to negative 2.0 Driving and collision sensing I got that on medium because if I put it on most sensitive it can be a little too sensitive You know, so I just want it right in between Parking monitor, very nice function to have. So when your vehicle is off and it detects vibration, the, the dash cam will automatically turn on and begin recording. Now I'm not sure if that feature, if you have to add on a, a, another module or something, but I'm gonna test that out. I'll be doing a week, a review, a full review after a week of use, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Time-lapse, I got that on five frames per second. You know, you got your Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi password, format the SD card. Lots of nice features, and this is just some of the features it has. Okay, so this is live footage from the FitCam dash cam. As you can see, the video quality is crystal clear. I'm currently running in 4K resolution. The exposure is about, I think I'm running at about 0.1 right here. It's a cloudy day. Now, if it was a sunny day, it would be way brighter. But the, the video quality is still superb. Now, as you can see, you can easily make out the license plate of the vehicle in front of me. I'm about eight feet behind it. 
And if a vehicle were to swipe the side of you and take off, you'd be able to easily read his license plate from the resolution of this dash cam. Okay, so here's some nighttime driving. This is unedited. I'm in 4K resolution. Exposure is about 0 0.1. As you can see, the clarity is just amazing. So even at night, you can clearly make out a vehicle's license plate. Okay, so here I am in 1440 resolution. Exposure is 1.3, and this is with the audio on the dash cam. Picture quality is still amazing, as you can see. Now, if you wanted to download a file, for example, you go into camera files. All right, now it's gonna pull up all the files I currently have stored on here, see? So these are the current ones it's recording now. These are older ones, you know, so I mean, you have immediate access to all your files. And that's one of the beauties of this dash cam. You have immediate files you can download right at your disposal. So if you're involved in an accident, you don't need to take out your SD card, take it back home, put it in your computer. You have immediate footage to show to police or whoever you need to show it to. So I believe every vehicle should have a dash cam, everybody. Nowadays, there's so many accidents. There's so many crazy people. They drive crazy. They're not paying attention. You can easily get rear-ended, side-swiped, hit and run. And if you don't got a dash cam and you need verification for your insurance company, you're in trouble. Some crazed maniac get out, start waving a gun. Hey, didn't you see me back there? You cut me off, you son of a... And so this is like a perfect gift to buy someone because it's not only available for a Dodge Durango, you can get it for many, many other vehicles. So I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna purchase a FitCam dash cam for any other vehicle and you'll be able to get a discount. Link will be in the description. Also, I'll leave an Amazon link in the description. It's a great gift and it's a great unit. Now, I highly recommend the FitCam X because for a number of reasons. For one, the OEM look. I mean, it looks like you don't even have a dash cam up there, but it's actually a great 4K dash cam. Now, some people may want a dash cam where it's visible. They may be doing a ride share service and they want like a dash cam, but I'm not sure if those dash cams allow you to immediately download files and access your footage ex exactly when you need it. So even if you have one of those dash cams where it's a black box up here with the wires, this is still highly recommended because of the abilities, the features you have. It's highly recommended. It's ultra 4K, which you have the adjustability to change it to 2K or 1080p or whatever footage. You can change the resolution. You could turn the sound off. You can edit the videos that you download, the parking monitoring. It got the G sensor. Now, not only does it come with a front dash cam, you can choose the option to get the front as well as the rear, and you can mount it inside your vehicle facing forward, or you can mount it on the outside of your vehicle. And it's a very simple installation. Again, link will be in the description if you wanna purchase a FitCam X dash cam for another vehicle, and you'll get an 8% discount, as well as I'll leave an Amazon link in the description, and you'll get an 8% discount for that as well. So I'll be doing a review on the FitCam X dash cam after about one or two weeks of use. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. Until then, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next video. Alex RT Life signing off.